How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. Hope you've had a great day today, and as you guys can see, finishing off our trio of Play of the Months. I'm not too sure if there's any more Play of the Months, like, inbound as of right now. Uh, we've got the Bundesliga in Andre Kramerich. We're going to review him today and see what he's like for you guys. So if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring that side, smash that like, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new around here. Honestly, support recently has been through the roof. And by the way, we have changed the thumbnails. The thumbnails have changed. If you like him, if you don't like him, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But so we're going to review Kramich today. Now Kramich is a very interesting one because he is quite cheap, amazing stats, it's just he doesn't have the pace. And the pace on this game is important for a lot of different people. It could be you, it could be me, it could be Steve down the street, you know what I'm saying? Uh, pace can be very, very helpful to a lot of different people. And when they see the pace being 77 with Kramich, they might avoid it, but honestly... It's not that bad. It's really not a bad in game. It's going to be one of his flaws, undoubtedly, undoubtedly. But stick a hunch on him, a catalyst on him. You can stick what I used. I used a hawk on him. You can do anything, even engine, if you do want to do that. But like I said, he does have some amazing in game stats. As for his player bio, his name is Andre Kramrich, like I've already said. And um, do you remember last year? The normal, well, the, the normal card of Kramrich at the very, very start. He was using a lot of starter teams. He was a great finisher of the ball, and that is why he was used in a lot of different starter teams. Lads, there's no difference. This guy on this game is as clinical as they come. If you make the right decision, uh, you'll know what I mean by uh, the gameplay that we do short today. Medium and medium work rates. He is quite static, but his positioning is flawless. And he gets in the right areas to score those goals. That's what you want from strikers at the end of the day. Runs are great. Fantastic. Movement is sensational. No cram rich, but his positioning is flawless. Right for primarily four star skillmas and a four star weak foot. So again, this card, and I'll tell you straight away, it gives me Lacazette vibes. You know, Lacazette's got the four star combo, decent stats, not a amazing stats but this guy's genuinely got amazing stats you look at him right now he's got 82 acceleration that's not bad that's really not that bad uh sprint speed is on the low side and that's where he will get caught up by defenders um you accelerate past them instantaneously you get past them easy as peas right but then you get caught up and that isn't a great thing it's not a great situation for any strike to be caught up on this game so what you've got to do with cramer sometimes is turn around and shield it but he doesn't have the greatest strength in the world. It is 70. Um, so, uh, again, it does pose issues. It does pose issues, this card, in certain sense of the words. However, in other sense of the words, lads, look at his shooting. He's got 89 in second position, 90. Uh, well, 95 with the whole chem style. 9 finishing, 86 shot power, 89 long shots and bullies with 94 penalties. That's amazing. That is literally amazing. Sensational. Astral Pass has got 84 short pass, 76 vision, 81 crossing if he's in those wide areas, and 84 curve. And again, that is really not bad. That is not bad whatsoever. And you look at the dribbling on this guy too. Four star skills, 86 agility he's got, uh, 87 balance, 86 reactions, 89 ball control, 90 dribbling, and 85 composure. He can dribble, and the main thing I noticed with this card was in the box, he can stop the ball, he can shimmy it to one side or the other with a four star weak foot, and his preferred foot the right, and just smash it, just smash it, because he's got such great shooting stats. Uh, head and accuracy 78, he's 72 uh, in terms of jump, and he's 5 or 10 uh, in terms of height, he's got 80 stamina, 70 strength, and 77 aggression. This card actually doesn't look bad in any sense of the words. Uh, you look at these stats, and you think, these are stats of... A high level inform. Now he's an 86 rated card, don't get me wrong. This is only 45,000 coins. That's not bad value. You look at the value of the other SPCs on this game, Ansu Fati, you look at Calvert Lewin. Yeah, they're a bit risky, aren't they? But you look at the stats of Andre Kramerich and you think, that's a really, really good card for 45,000 coins on the Xbox and PlayStation. Someone actually mentioned bringing PC prices into it, but honestly, they vary so, so much. It is very difficult to nail down. In terms of player traits, he's got flair and outside of foot shot, which is crazy. Uh, flair for the contextual touches and the fancy passes and whatnot. Outside of foot shot for, well, the outside of foot shot. That's literally what it does on the tin. But lads, let's get into the gameplay we've got for player one, Kramerich. Now look at this 86 rated card. So here we go, lads, into the gameplay. You're going to see some goals from Kramerich because he was on fire. Played three games in total with him today. Uh, I didn't rush this review or anything like that, so I just want to uh, 
Honestly, I, I don't like rushing reviews. I just like playing the game and testing out these players to their full potential. And Cramrich has a really good potential when it does come to shooting. Someone that does like a snap review or something like that might not notice his finishing abilities, might not notice his first touches, which is just exquisite. And just might not notice the little nuances with the cards and the preferences with this card. Honestly, he's a great finisher of the ball. Give him a chance, he's going to score nine times out of ten. He is absolutely incredible. This is Harlan on the ball. He plays it into Cramrich eventually coming from midfield from Axel Vitel, low positioning, gets a chance, borrows the keeper, taps it in there, I don't know where the keeper's going man, he's just got his head down, running forward, but honestly, positioning on points, finishing on, on points, shot power on points, dribbling, ball control, passing and the four star combo all on point, they're absolutely fantastic with Cramerich, uh, oh I tripped the keeper up that, with the ball roll, I actually tripped the keeper up, I never even realised that in game, nice little back heel from my opponent, he comes forward, I'm actually 2-1 up at this stage, lovely challenge by the centre back and I, I used that, I think it was a Kanji at the centre back, this is Cramerich, lovely chest control, nice little pass down to Axel Witzel, he continues his run but doesn't get the ball on that occasion, he actually will get it back, Sansu Fatty on the ball, Sansu Fatty cuts it back to Cramerich, lovely pass, first time, Holland chips it up. Holland takes the shots, and it is a corner. So from this corner, we will eventually score with Cramerich. Now you might be wondering if Cramerich is this good, what's deterring people away from buying the card? One being the pace. The pace does deter people because he's got 72 sprint speed. And I can see why as well. He really isn't fast in this game. He's got a good sense of acceleration. Once you do play the pass, you do like a one-two pass or anything like that. But um. It's very uh, noticeable, his lack of sprint speed. It really is noticeable. Uh, lack of strength as well, he's not very strong. I thought he would be strong. He's got the aggression, can definitely defend from the front. He can definitely be tenacious. He just doesn't have the raw strength. That's um, I kind of associate with Cramerich. I don't know why I've always associated strength with Cramerich. It just could be one of those things. Nice little back wheel from Holland on that occasion into Ansu Fatty. Fatty will do well here. He cuts it back to Holland. Holland cuts it back once again. Look at the ball control, look at the finish. All in one fluid motion. And that is what you get from Andre Cramerich. Uh, uh, and honestly, one of the things with this card that uh, I see value in the card is objectives. First on a Bundesliga. That could be huge, getting a Cramerich at this stage in the game for 45,000 coins because he's a high-end Bundesliga striker. The other high-end Bundesliga strikers, you look at Haaland, you look at Lewandowski, you look at them two. Oh, literally, that's all you look at, really, in the Bundesliga, as of right now, anyways. Uh, so, Cramerich definitely comes in that equation. He's a similar type of player to Haaland uh, in terms of what he brings on the pitch, but he does have the four-star combo. Another crazy finish there from ha uh, Haaland, I was going to say. Uh, Cramerich in the back of the net. Look at that. Oh, look at the confetti, boys. It's beautiful. Uh, nice little finish there by Cramerich into the side of the net. Again, pinpoint accuracy on the shots. Keeper. I didn't even react. And I, I will reiterate as well, the positioning is literally flawless with Cramerich. Uh, movement's not that good, but uh, his positioning's nuts. Look at this. Nice little one, two. Bad touch from the centre back allows the high aggression to allow Cramerich in. Lads, I went for the wrong shot choice. And that is what I was saying earlier on. Normally, if you take the right shot choice with Cramerich, it will go in. A terrible mistake from the goal kit, where we do capitalise, and Cramerich does get the goal. But lads, that is it for Cramerich. Let's get in the summary. Let's see what we've rated him. So there we have it then, lads, for Mr. Cramerich. Uh, this, this card's good. This card is good. Uh, he does get an overall rating in the video, 0.5 for myself, and definitely see the benefits in having this card in your team and in around the starting 11. Honestly, I, I see this guy as a starting striker. Especially if you've got a Bundesliga now, I know Wang He Chan. A lot of people were interested in him. A lot of people used him. He's got the pace. He doesn't have areas of his game that are equal to Cramerich. But the difference between the two is the pace. Cramerich is better in every single sense of the words, despite the lack of 72 sprint speed, Cramerich is the better striker. So 8.5 is what I will give him. I definitely see his abilities in the finish and definitely a positive. Um, he is very good in front of goal and for objectives, first on the Bundesliga, this guy could well be your man. Value for coins 8.2, 45,000 coins on the Xbox and PlayStation, not that bad. Um, when you compare it to uh, different strikers, maybe a Gabriel Jesus, someone like that, you could see value in a different league altogether. Enjoyment rating 8.0. He's good, he just doesn't have that pace factor to, uh, to, to burn past players, you know what I mean? Uh, that can leave him quite open to uh, losing the ball. And the strength, 
That's kind of a con as well. Three games played, six goals scored, and one assist. He would be a star in foot champs. He got a 10, 7.2, and an 8.8. Uh, as for the similar players, I think I mentioned it as well. Lacazette's vibes are given up with, off with Cramerich's four star skills and uh, quite a similar card to Lacazette as well. Uh, Keeper will be the shooting the key corner with the pace, and the best chem style will be Hawk. Takes him to an 89 rated striker, left forwards, centre forwards, and right forwards with an 89. Well, an 88 left wing, right wing, and an 86 rated cam. Uh, in terms of under 100k, I'll compare him to the other player of the month in Dominic Calvert-Lewin. I don't know what I rated Calvert-Lewin. Haven't went back and checked. But what I will say, after using Calvert-Lewin for a long period of time, Calvert-Lewin is not what I said on the review. He's even worse than that. Just uh, take my word for that. Uh, Cranwich is definitely better than Calvert-Lewin. There's no doubt about it. Uh, passion 7, physical 7, shooting is an ace, and so is dribbling. And this review is a wrap. So thank you very much for watching today. I hope you had a great day in general. This is the third point of the month so far. We've had Ansu, we've had Dominic Calvert-Lewin, and we've had Cranwich. Do we get a league on one as well? I'm not too sure he's been running for that. But thank you very much for watching today. Like would be very much appreciated from you guys. Drop a comment. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think of this card. Have you used him? Are you going to get him? Let me know. And let me know who to review in the next review as well. But thank you very much for watching. Spending your time watching this video. Watching, watching, watching. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you tomorrow for some more content. Guys, see you then. Catch you all next time.